Good morning, Courtney. I hope that you had a good night's rest. I was just wondering if you left the house already. Oh, good morning, Nate. I wasn't expecting you to message me this early. I actually just got on the subway, so yes, I have left the house. Oh, really? You're super speedy, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. My parents were staying at a hotel near the wedding venue. I think I left early because I only just came back for the first time after being in Singapore for seven years. A few things have changed since I was last here, so I don't really know what's happening in the area. I think it was better to get up early and get going. <laughs> oh, is that right? Well, I guess that makes sense since you haven't been back to the States for a long time. Good idea to have gotten up early. If everything goes the way it was planned, I think we'll be able to arrive at the wedding venue about 30 minutes earlier than we were supposed to. I see. Well, that's good to know. Then everything looks like it's good to go. Yeah? What about you? What's going on with you? Ah, well... Actually, something has come up, but I don't want you to worry too much about it. As for me at the moment, I'm still traveling by car with my parents from their house. I also have to pick up my sister from the airport before we get on our way to the ceremony. What do you mean? You have to go and pick up Nora from the airport? But I thought that she got into New York last night. That she was flying in last night? So apparently there was some sort of mix-up, and she forgot to buy her plane ticket to New York, and the earliest flight here was for today. What the heck? Well, that's really annoying of her. She should have been more organized than that. It's not good enough. She got in contact with me last night about it. She told me that she was rushing to get a seat for a flight bound from New York, but the first flight wasn't going to be until this morning. Then, somehow, she was able to get a ticket for that flight, so we have to go and get her from the airport. But there's no need for you to worry about it. You'll be able to arrive at the ceremony in plenty of time, and everything will be right on schedule as we planned. Oh, I see. Well, I guess it won't affect the schedule, then. Everything should go according to plan. So with that happening, is there anything else we need to worry about? <laughs> I hope not. I haven't been able to meet Nora yet since we got together. If you're going to come to the ceremony right after you pick her up from the airport, could you introduce me to her first thing this morning? Just so that we know each other and there isn't any awkward feelings. Oh, I see what you mean. I mean, we could try doing that, but I'm really not sure about the timing of everything you see. It should be fine to do little introductions. I don't think that it'll affect the schedule too much. I'll talk to my sister about it, and hopefully we can get something organized. Yes, please. If you could do that, it would be greatly appreciated. I guess I will see you a little later at the wedding venue. <laughs> Take care in getting to the airport, and to here. Of course, my sweet lady. You too, okay? See you a little later on. Oh my god! It was you after all! I knew it! Your name is Courtney, right? I remember you. At the time, I didn't know what your name was, and I was skeptical when I saw a photo of you. But once I saw you in the flesh, I knew it was you! You really did a great job of things five years ago, didn't you? Pouring beer on you wasn't enough. I, I should have hit you as well! What are you saying? You're the one who poured beer all over me. You're Nate's older sister, right? You're Nora? Huh? What are you talking about? I guess there's really no point in blurting out what I want to say, is there? But I will anyway. Clearly it's been over five years since it happened, but I remember it like it was yesterday. This is about you! You're such a terrible person! I I've hated you since the moment you took away the person who was kind to me when I had just moved away! I'm totally confused by what you're saying. Why are you bringing up what happened over five years ago? I, I don't understand anything you're saying to me. I thought that today was supposed to be the first time I was meeting you, and that you were going to be my lovely sister-in-law. Oh, cut the crap, Courtney! You know exactly what I'm talking about! You need to get back to reality! You need to get over here and face me! I mean, are you seriously kidding about marrying Nate? I don't know if this is some kind of sick joke or not when it comes to marrying my younger brother, but I can see right through you. 
I'll never forgive you for what you did to me. Don't think I'm going to be nice to you when you marry into my family. I intend to make your life a living hell from now on. Don't even think about messing with me. You've got no idea what I'm capable of. Hey, Courtney. How are you doing? Is everything okay? Hi, my sweet Nate. Yes, I'm okay. I was lucky enough to meet the wedding planner just now, and I'm allowed to go to the bride's waiting room to get ready. Thank you for taking care of me earlier. I was able to escape the chaos a bit, but, you know. But that beer was poured over your entire head. My own sister decided just to do that all of a sudden. I couldn't believe it. I think she probably bought a can from the liquor store when we stopped to get some food at a mall on the way to here. Why would she even do that to you when she's never met you before? Right? I don't understand her actions at all. What should we do about her now? I don't want any more liquids poured all over me. Right. Yeah, of course not. I don't want that happening to you either. I was chasing after you when you ran off from us, but I lost track of where you went. I was in a rush to look for you. I wanted to make sure you were okay. After a while, I caught up with you playing with your phone and I managed to find you. I left it up to my parents to deal with my sister, but they were looking for me as well. And now... Oh, I see. But I really don't get how it came to this happening. Your sister seemed to have known my phone number and what I looked like. But you told me she didn't know anything about me. Even my name. Is that right? Huh? I'm confused. What are you saying? She did know you then? Apparently I was someone that she had trouble with in the past, but I had no idea who she was at the time. She said she didn't know my name at the time and that she only found out about me when it finally clicked in her head what I looked like. Like, what does that even mean? I have absolutely no idea what I did to her. I hardly remember what I was doing five years ago. How can someone have a grudge for that amount of time? It's kind of strange. Uh... Hmm... I've got no idea, Courtney. I only told her your name at the beginning of the relationship. I never said much else about you. As for knowing what you looked like, I think it's because after we met up at the airport in the morning, I saw a photo of you on her phone. But I never told her your phone number or anything like that. This is just a guess, but is it possible that she manipulated people into thinking I'm a bad person or something? And how did she get my number without getting permission first? Maybe she could have done that. I don't know. When we stopped to get some food, my parents and I went to use the store's bathroom while my sister was shopping for some things. At the time, I left my phone in the car because I didn't think I needed it. But my sister got back to the car before I did. I think that was when she was able to look at my phone and get your contact details without asking me first. That sounds about right to me. I don't think you would have given my number to her if you knew what she was going to say to me. Wait a minute. So my sister did send you a message then? Yes. She sent me multiple messages, actually. I was told what happened to her over five years ago, and I got confused as to what it had to do with me. She said that she had some sort of contact with me back then? I don't remember her at all. It was such a long time ago. Well, just over the five years ago, she left our hometown. It was to go and start her new job at a company in Washington, D.C. It would almost be impossible for her and you to have met face to face during that time, right? She must have mistaken you for somebody else, surely. That's my thinking, too. That can't possibly be right. I, I think she's completely misunderstood everything and gotten me confused with someone else. However, it doesn't mean that she should have done what she did to me. It was so wrong and she should have got her facts straight first. I'm so confused about the whole situation, so can you come and meet me so I can show you the messages that she sent me? Maybe there's something that you can get out of them rather than me trying to decipher them all day long. Of course. I can do that. Okay. I will come over and meet you in the waiting room. I'm on my way now. Hey, Courtney. I've got some things to tell you. So, my sister's being watched over by my parents at their house for the time being. Oh, really? Why is that? Did something else happen? No, nothing else has happened. But I thought I should tell you what's going on. 
I somehow got a feeling that the reason why she did what she did to you in the first place is because of some romance trouble that happened five years ago. Apparently it all went down at the place of her employment in DC. To me, what she was saying was completely incoherent, and she was getting all jumpy and wanted to have another go at you. So in the end, we had some disagreements during the conversation, and now she's locked herself in one of my parents' bedrooms. Oh wow, uh, that sounds like a lot, Nate. Well, you did your best with the situation at hand. But I think I know what she might be talking about. The romance trouble that she had five years ago? Oh really? You know about that? Do you mind me asking what happened with that? Well, I do have something to tell you about that. I'm just nervous to tell you, that's all. Was Nora's job in DC anything to do with selling miscellaneous goods through a company called DC Imports? Oh yes. She worked for a company with that name, yeah. However, she only worked there for about a year then quit. She got another job at a company that does similar things. Oh, okay. When it comes to the romance troubles she had, I think there were some male co-workers involved. Did any of their names come up by any chance? Now that you mention it, yes. One name came up. Some guy named Jake, I think she said, amongst the things she was rambling about. Are you sure it was Jake? If it was, I think I might know what happened and why she's holding a grudge. I don't understand. What happened to her that would make her get so angry at you? This is just a guess, but I think I've connected all the dots in this whole mess together. I still don't understand what you mean, Courtney. What are you talking about? What's going on? I don't think I can talk about this over a message with you. There are some people that I need to speak with first that I have permission to talk about it with you. Can you come back here tonight so we can talk this out? Well, if we aren't going to talk about it right now, then yes. I'll come over and talk to you about it in person. If that's what you want me to do, of course. Well, then I guess I'll talk to the people that I need to get permission from and I'll let you know before you come back here tonight. Okay, then. This sounds like something really serious. It's kind of making me a little anxious to hear about all of it. I'm really sorry for all the detours and being so quiet about it. I know it's frustrating for you right now. I think they'll give me permission to talk about it. I just needed to make sure everything is okay with them before I do. I haven't got much of a choice but to ask them how much I can reveal. That's fine, Courtney. Do what you need to do, and I'll come over later. It's better to ask than not. See you later. That's just great. The wedding ceremony. It went ahead, didn't it? It's done? You're making me feel like such an outcast when you're the one that's done me wrong! Why didn't you cancel the wedding ceremony? That would have been the better option. I warned Nate so many times about you, especially how much of a terrible woman you are. Okay, Nora, you need to calm down and actually listen to what I have to say about this. You know, I was just thinking about contacting you to talk about what's going on. What's the point in talking about what you stole from me? Five years have passed and you're just walking around with a stick up your backside like you've done nothing wrong. If you must know, up until last year I was living and working in Singapore. So? What's that got to do with anything? Don't you understand what you've done to me? Due to my father's work, I spent about 10 years in Singapore. I started middle school life there and I also just got a job that kept me in Singapore for a long time. At that job, I happened to have met Nate, who had come from our branch in the States. He was sent to Singapore to work. We got to know each other and then started dating. About a year ago, I decided to finish up my work in Singapore as I wanted to come back to the States. I returned to the States with Nate last year. Wait a minute, what do you mean? Are you saying you've been in Singapore and not visited the States in 10 years? As you can see, you've mistaken me for someone else that's done you wrong. And I know who you've gotten me mistaken for. My cousin actually looks very similar to me. You've got to be kidding me right now! Are you for real? You weren't in the States at all? And are you saying that there is someone else out there that has the exact same facial features as you? Well, if you look really close, you can see the difference. But if someone who isn't close to you looks at them and they look at the same time, people would think we're twins. 
I don't know how genes work in the family. I can't help that she also looks very similar to me. I heard the story that you told me the other day almost five years ago from my cousin. It just popped into my head last night. After thinking about it for a long while, I remembered that my cousin's husband and Nora worked at the same company five years ago. Are you serious? Is, is this some sort of prank you're playing on me to get out of what you've done? If you didn't do it like you said, then it was your cousin who took Jake away from me. I know for a fact that's definitely not true. My cousin didn't take anyone away from you. What are you talking about? How could she not have taken Jake away from me? Isn't that exactly what we're talking about right now? What am I saying that's wrong? Okay, there's no roundabout way in saying this, so I'm going to say this as clearly as possible so no one gets confused. It was a whole misunderstanding on your part that you thought that Jake had some sort of romantic feelings for you, when in fact, he didn't. You thought things developed into a relationship when they hadn't from his point of view. What are you saying? He, he doesn't think that we were in a relationship? Are you seriously kidding me? Well, you only see things from your point of view, so it wasn't obvious to you that he didn't feel anything more for you than just being a colleague. You said that Jake was dating you, but before you could confirm anything, he was engaged to another woman. You said that you were close with him. But honestly, it seems like nothing was established in terms of our relationship. I think that's how you saw the situation. So you got angry over that, and as a result, you started appearing near the building where Jake and my cousin lived. You were harassing my cousin, weren't you, Nora? You're wrong! It, it wasn't harassment at all! Nothing comes from marrying a woman who's a man-eater! She's a complete predator who steals men from other women! I was just desperate to make Jake see what she was doing to him! Brainwashing him into falling for her instead of me! Well, it seems like you've made a huge mistake because she's not like that at all. Oh yeah? Why do you think that, huh? You obviously don't know what she's capable of. Listen to me. My cousin and Jake have known each other since high school, and they got together and then got married while they were students at university. What? They really met that long ago? <laughs> Surely not. Well, let me put it for you in plain words. By the time they got jobs at DC Imports, they were already married. Then you started there six months later. Did you really think that you could steal Jake away from his wife? My cousin? Are you serious? They were already married, but I never saw a ring on his finger. How was I to know that? At their workplace, it's not safe to wear rings because they can get caught. Besides, it seems that the people around you were telling you over and over again that he was taken. You weren't calm about it all and didn't move from it. The blood went rushing to your head and you blocked everything people said because you were in denial. You repeatedly made one-sided approaches towards Jake that made him and my cousin uncomfortable. Then you started harassing my cousin so she'd go away. Finally, Jake couldn't take it anymore, so he got angry at you and you couldn't stand it. You got frightened, so you resigned on your own accord. Instead of telling your family what actually happened and what you did to my cousin, you promised them you'd never bother Jake and her ever again. You paid them in compensation for the harassment you dished out and settled the matter that way. At least for the time being. But now it's creeped back into your life because you saw me and it triggered you. So that's what happened. That's not... That's not really how it went. I don't understand what you're talking about. So Jake was already married when we met each other. But he was being so kind to me. I didn't know. It seems like the people that worked with you both also said that it was a whole big misunderstanding on mostly your part. What are you saying? You think this is all my fault? Jake's the one who was giving me unclear signals! I think that new employees who joined only six months apart from each other had a lot of time to interact and get each other's vibes. You would have known he wasn't interested. When you talked about going on a lunch date, it would be a lunch with multiple people where you'd all go out to a restaurant during the lunch break. Drinking dates after work would be the whole department going out together or going to some sort of banquet. You were the one who got their wires crossed the wrong way. When you said that you went on a trip with Jake, it was really just a business trip or a company trip to reward you all for your hard work. You weren't lovers, Nora. You were just co-workers. That, that, that can't be true. I swear I thought he had some sort of feelings for me. 
He gave me such mixed signals sometimes. Anyway, that's how I interpreted the situation. I had nothing to do with you or what you did five years ago. It was obviously a case of mistaken identity. But it doesn't mean what you did to me was called for. You're the one who made the mistakes. You're the one who poured their entire beer all down me and insulted me to the point that I ran off. It's all on you. You've got to tell me this and you've got no choice. Where is Jake and his woman right now? Just when I thought I wasn't going to hear from you again, you decide to message me for information. Do you seriously think I'd tell you where they were? Huh? Are you mad? I believe that Jake is still in love with me. He needs to be with me and only me. Are you kidding me right now? Don't you realize that he's happily married to my cousin? Are you crazy? Well, I want to take him back. I want it to be like just how we used to be in the office. I want to make him happy and he'll make me happy too. Oh, is that right? Y you really think that will happen? After all, you can't admit your mistakes and don't understand anything. I haven't made any mistakes about this. I know it's true. He still loves me. If Jake and I were to meet up again right now, he'll instantly feel the passion that we once had for each other and he'll take me back. Did he come to the wedding you held? Was he one of the people amongst your relatives? No, I didn't invite them. Because of the venue size, I had to adjust the guest list to only inviting my aunts and uncles. But if I'm not mistaken, you have Jake's contact details, right? You must have his number, right? So, I need you to hurry up and give it to me so I can tell him to come back to me so we can be in love and make a family together. If you don't give me his number, you know what'll happen, right? Uh, nope. I don't know what'll happen and I don't need to know because I don't want anything to do with you. You've gone completely crazy and I'm not giving out any numbers to you. Excuse me, what? You can't just say something like that to me about my Jake. He's not your Jake, Nora. How many times do we have to tell you this until you understand? No matter what you try and do, he'll always be with my cousin. He loves her, not you and wants nothing to do with you. You're way out of his league for him anyways if he was single. Excuse me? How dare you talk to me like that? You've got some nerve, Courtney. I can make your life a living hell since you've married my younger brother. I'm ending this conversation. I don't want it going any further. Goodbye. Um, what? <laughs> Excuse me, you can't just bail on this conversation. If you won't give me his number, how am I supposed to meet up with Jake? He can't just not be with me. What are you doing to me? You can't just leave me on red. I can and I will. Don't even think about going near my cousin and her husband. Stay out of our lives. But wait a minute, I, I need his information. Don't delete my messages. I don't know how I can get a hold of him though. Come back. I have no idea what kind of woman Nora is, but it came off as kind of crazy. My cousin and her husband currently live in Australia. <laughs> Jake changed jobs so that he could work overseas, and he moved his parents to Australia as well. They plan on staying there forever. Nora keeps bugging me about getting Jake's information. By the time Nora got my address, Nate and I were already on a flight back to Singapore. I just returned there after completing my contract at the American branch as I had planned. Nora was completely exhausted after losing her hold on getting Jake back. Taking advantage of the situation, Nora's parents offered her up to a very distant relative. She was to be a wife and caregiver to a man in his 50s that had a few quirks. <laughs> my in-laws also plan to move to Singapore permanently in the near future. I don't think anyone in our family will see Nora again. I won't see her again for the rest of my life. <laughs>